One, zero, zero, lift off. How would you play a random song on voice attack on command? It's really, really, really simple. First of all, somewhere on your computer, you've got to have the song. So you've got to have some MP3 songs in a directory. And you can have multiple directories. I'll talk about that later. But for right now, let's have to have, just have one directory. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and edit my demo profile here. And I'm going to click for a new command. Now, this, if you're familiar with voice attack, and I hope you are, uh, this is where you put the words that you're going to say. So I, I use I use this. It, there's nothing magical about this. Play random song. And the reason I don't say play music is I actually have another one that uses play music and and uses a different method. So this one is the simpler way to go. So that's going to be my command. And what you do is you come down to other sounds play a sound or actually play a random sound excuse me play a random sound click on that and you brought up this dialogue here which is uh, up on top play a random sound from a selection list I want play a random sound from a directory okay now um, there is an option down here called suppress repeat uh, it's up to you whether you want to check that or not. And what that does is, let's say there's 10 songs in a directory, and the first time you play a random song, the chance is 1 out of 10 of a particular song being selected. The second time you do it, it's 1 out of 9. The third time you do it, it's 1 out of 8. And when you get down to no songs, then it starts again. So I have a directory that has, you know, 100 songs, and I do not worry about repeats. I just really don't. So anyhow, so I just click play a random sound from directory then I'm going to click on choose and this is where you're actually going to select the directory so I'm going to go ahead and click on that right there and mine happened to be in transfer music okay so there's just a bunch of songs in that directory now um, I would suggest you start out with something like 50%, something like that, and um, you know you might want to adjust that as time goes on, depending on how loud you want it. Uh, now here's an option down here, wait until sound completes before continuing command. I do suggest you check that. And the reason you want to check that is, uh, let's say you're pl you, you say play random song, it starts to play a song that you're it's not the right one for you at the moment you want a different song so then you say play random song again and if you don't have that box checked then the first song will keep on playing until it's done so if you check this and you say play random song uh, the next time it's going to shut the first one off which is what you want so then click OK and click OK and that's all there is to it and now all you got to do is say play random song and it's going to select a random song out of that directory that you had uh, highlighted. There is one other command that you should you should create. Remember, I said that if you're playing one song and you say play random sound uh, or song, play random song again. It if you don't have this checked, then the first song keeps playing. Well, let's say you you say play random song, and now you're playing you know a song that you're really into. But however, you get jumped by Migs or jump by whatever, F-18s. Um, you want a way to be able to stop the music. So I created, I'll, let me get out of this one. Let's click OK to save it. There's my first command. I'm going to click, do a new command called stop the music or just stop music. And this one, you can apply to other things as well. But anyhow, we start here, stop music other sounds stop sounds and that's all there is to it click OK so now you have play random song and stop music and that's it hit apply done and you can start a song just simply and if you use the command that I that I use play random song and it plays a random song out of a directory now remember I mentioned about having multiple directories well 
it's up to you, but you could have a directory of, you know, actions, action songs, another directory of Christmas songs, whatever you want. And this is a way, you know, so you create a command, play Christmas songs, whatever. So I know that's kind of silly and most of us probably won't bother with that, but it's, it's entirely possible. If you do do multiple directories, you don't have to do multiple stop music commands. All you need is one. So, Okay, well, that's it. That's the first way to play music. There's a second way that I actually prefer, uh, but uh, I'm going to cover that in a different video. And this other way has the advantage of you can play an entire directory or you can play across multiple directories easily at the same time. Um, it requires a little more setup. You're still going to use voice attack. It requires a little more setup, but it works very nicely. So this first method that I showed you here is just so easy to do. I mean, you, right after you get done listening to this video, you can create it, and it works beautifully. So anyhow, take care. This is Flame at Me over and out. Take care.